Introduction. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the world of options trading with a unique twist. Today, through the lens of 10 pin bowling. Just as in bowling, where the aim is to knock down all pins with precision, our trading strategy today aims to strike big in the options market. We're talking about a trade involving the NASDAQ 100 mini index futures options, specifically a put credit spread strategy with an expected value greater than minus 300. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and join our community to get ahead in the trading game. You could be one of our very first subscribers. Market Sentiment In today's analysis, we're diving into the stock market sentiment, which is currently registering as bullish with low strength for the NASDAQ 100 mini index. Given this sentiment, we will be searching for a put credit spread. We'll set our delta within a range of a minimum of 0.05 to a maximum of 0.1. This value range has been ascertained by backtesting the option chains against the market action. Expiry Date our strategy holds firm until the expiry date, the 21st of June, 2024. The reasons for this are to avoid paying broker fees and to reduce the numbers of variables associated with stop losses, profit points, and rolling options chain. Moving on to the technical part of our strategy, we analyze an options chain for both debit and credit spreads in the direction of the market sentiment to determine the optimal trades. The computer scans through the options chain, selecting different spreads, strike prices, number of contracts, and deltas within the specified range that combine to offer the highest expected value, or EV. The computer has selected for us a put credit spread where we will sell a put at a strike price of 15,500 and buy a put at a strike price of 15,250. Delta. In this scenario, our delta stands at 0.06. This translates into a 94% probability of success at the time of purchase. Reward. To calculate our potential reward, we perform a series of precise steps. We take the price 44.5 of the first strike, subtract the price of the second strike, 36.75, multiply it by the multiplier 20, and then by the number of contracts, 1. Deduct the fees per contract 1.6 multiplied by the number of contracts 1. Our reward is calculated as 153. Risk. Our risk calculation is the spread between our two strike prices, 15,500 and 15,250, when multiplied by the multiplier 20 and the number of contracts 1. And subtracting our reward 153 presents us with a risk calculated as 4,847. Expected value. Understanding the expected value for our credit spread is crucial. By multiplying the reward by the probability of getting the reward, 0.94, and deducting the risk by the probability of incurring the risk, we ascertain an expected value of minus 147. The expected value must be positive to ensure the probabilities are in our favor. Otherwise, we are relying on good market sentiment to realize a profit. That wraps up our strategy session today. Thanks for watching, and remember, whether you're aiming for a strike in bowling or in trading, precision and understanding the game are key. See you in the next video.